So I thought I'd uh, make a quick video this morning about uh, doing loving kindness uh, meditations. So it's one kind of meditation among many different kinds of meditation, and each of them sort of has their own different effects. And uh, this is one that I think is pretty important if you are just getting into meditation to, for one thing, learn how you will start reacting emotionally. Um, and, and one of the benefits is a, a softening of character and of the heart that you can get if you start exploring, you know, some deeper meditation styles. But this is definitely not an advanced meditation style. This is what I would consider to be pretty basic. Uh, another thing that um, is important in doing that is that if you ever get into chakra work, uh, this would actually be done directly, you know, could be integrated with uh, directly working with the heart chakra. And finally, um, if you're just starting out meditation, this is actually pretty gentle and pretty nice. So um, I that's the several reasons why I recommend something like this. So forgive my cat meowing in the background. She wants to go outside, but uh, that's not going to happen this morning. She has uh, FIV, so, you know, the less she's exposed to outdoor pathogens, the better. All right, so... Uh, for as usual with meditation, I do recommend a high-backed chair, um, if you can get it, or a couch, something where you're not constantly focusing on, you know, either not falling over or whatever, you can just sort of allow your back to, you know, settle into the back of the chair or the couch or whatever the case may be. So... Usually I recommend, if it's your first time meditating, try to close your eyes. If you already know that, uh, if you've done a little bit and you know that you tend to fall asleep, you can find a blank spot on the floor. Um, or, excuse me, not a blank spot, uh, just some spot on the floor to just allow your gaze, to your, your eyes to focus on it and to um, just settle into whatever that spot on the floor is so that you're you're not, you're not looking all over the place wondering, oh, and then you're suddenly the mind's off to the races. So ideally you will have, um, if you've seen my pretty previous video, you can do a, um, uh, med uh, do a, uh, pranayama breathing technique. And the one I do is, um, what Jason Lou teaches, which is, you know, in, in a certain number, hold for that same number and then out for twice that number. So basically I would, you know, plug this nostril, go in, in for a count of four, hold for a count of four, and then out this side for eight. And so on and so forth. That's a good introduction uh, way to just calm yourself, calm your mind, that sort of thing. Uh, and, you know, your body will, it's a lot easier to relax your body. And this is important too, because you don't want to go into meditation, especially loving kindness meditation, you know, kind of amped up or something like that. This is about learning how to be gentle, how to chill out, how to, you know, work with, work in a very softer space. So if you have done that already, great. If not, go ahead and pause the video and then come back. So the next part will be, um, again, I'm not asking you to change what you're looking at or anything like that. So if you have your eyes closed, continue to have them closed. And we'll proceed like follows. So you're going to actually go ahead and close your eyes. <laughs> so what we're going to do next is we're going to imagine uh, something or someone whom it's very easy for us to allow ourselves to feel loving kindness towards. 
So this could be a baby, it could be a pet, it could be anything, and, and this is important that it needs to be a platonic feeling of love. So a baby, it could be a pet, it could be anything that has generated that sweet, uh, that has caused in you a reaction of feeling a little softer, a little sweeter towards whoever that whoever whatever that is so my cat has decided to start in the video and i love that cat you know she's a good girl and i can easily allow myself you know indulge myself if you will in feeling kindness towards her and loving toward love towards her so just blending those uh, you know allowing that feeling to come out you know and allowing that feeling of wanting her to be happy to just flow out and to be and allow my heart to be soft enough to feel that feeling so just go ahead and hold that that you know person or maybe it's an animal in your mind it could even be a plant if you really love that plant and I let notice that just the natural feelings or thoughts that might come up you want that person or animal or plant or whatever to be happy, to be comfortable, to love you back a little bit, but mainly you want to, you feel, have a feeling of compassion and love and kindness towards that being. Just allow yourself to feel that. Just sit in that feeling for a bit. Okay, so we've done that for a bit. You know the feeling. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to try to extend that feeling out, okay? So if you're at home, you know, maybe you've had a, you know, uh, decent time recently with your family or roommates, maybe not so decent. But regardless, try to extend that feeling out to everybody who is in your home. And it's a little harder because these are going to get a little progressively harder, but what you'll find is that as you practice, your heart softens and you're able to do more of that. And by the way, I keep saying the heart softens. I'm just speaking about the heart chakra. So if you use the heart chakra, this is where you should be focusing on, is allowing that heart to soften and allowing that feeling to become more accessible to your consciousness and allow, basically allowing yourself to feel that feeling, which may be something that you haven't done in a very long time. So go ahead and extend. Imagine that it could extend out from you, let's say, in a sphere in all directions, in a ball in all directions, and just encompassing and allowing that feeling to em to emanate from your heart out to let's say a ball or a sphere that encompasses your home and everyone in it Okay, so that's pretty easy. And, or maybe not, maybe you're having a hard time with your family or your, your roommates or whatever the case may be. So next, uh, I want you to note, just remember that you can extend that out for as wide as you want. Eventually the goal would be to extend that out to the entire universe, if you can, you know, one step at a time. So the next step would be finding somebody, maybe this is somebody at work, maybe this is, um, you know, somebody who you just, uh, whoever it is, wherever you know them from, somebody who you encounter regularly, but have had a hard time getting along with. And, you know, please, don't make it your mortal enemy <laughs> to start, you know, maybe if you're really advanced, you know, you, you'll realize you have no mortal enemies. But so with that, this one, just somebody you haven't been getting along with, somebody you've had an argument with, maybe somebody who 
you're just you've just had a hard time and so this is again we're stepping up the level of loving kindness and allowing the heart to soften maybe towards that person maybe towards you know maybe allowing yourself to mm, maybe this isn't something i'm going to hold on to just allowing that same feeling of loving kindness that you had towards the baby or towards the pet and allowing that to flow out just allowing that to happen because it's the same idea it's a being you care about fundamentally you know they're a person and they have a heart just like yours. So allowing that feeling to flow, allowing your heart to soften as best you can. And I know that for some of you, you may, you may not have gotten there yet. So the final step that I have for people who are in the middle of this is to Allowing that same, is to allow that same feeling, that same softness, that same loving kindness to flow out to themselves. So go ahead and open your heart, soften your heart. Nobody's perfect. I know a lot of us carry around a lot of guilt. Allow that feeling to extend from your heart, flowing through your entire body, but coming back into itself. Allow the heart to love the heart. Allow yourself, your heart chakra to love itself in all of its depths. Because you started out as a baby. And everything else is just development. So just allowing that to happen. There you go. So that's it that's this meditation the loving kindness meditation and i know that last one is often a doozy for folks they're like what you know this is hard um and obviously i've i've cut off the time in which you can just pause the video and reflect on those feelings so um good luck uh, if you have any questions let me know um i was kind of pleased when this was just something i'd done impromptu for myself when um i was uh, getting into Buddhism and I realized, okay, I got to work on my heart. And uh, I was pleased when I learned that after doing this for a while, teaching it for some time after that, that it was not too far off from what a uh, Buddhist, uh, a Buddhist monk had taught, you know, when I was listening to him speak in a video. So uh, that made me feel, okay, okay, maybe I'm kind of on the right track here. So at any rate, um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, thanks so much for watching and uh, enjoy the rest of your day.